Today I want to give you a few tips for composition on as you're lettering, what you need to be thinking about as you're adding flourishes and loops and things. So let's dive in. The first thing I want to do when I'm thinking about composition is kind of write out my phrase um, so that I know uh, what I'm going to be lettering. So today I'm going to just be lettering Happy Father's Day because I know that's coming up. So if you guys wanted to make a card or something, then maybe this can give you some ideas. Um, so I just want to write out the phrase and kind of arrange it in the way that I want to write it. Um, so if it was longer, maybe just kind of knowing where the words would fall is helpful. So the first thing that I'm going to do uh, for this one is I'm just going to write uh, fathers first because I'm not sure if I want to do happy, big, or small. So I'm going to start by writing fathers. And so something that I do when I'm working on a final piece is I don't really finish things all the way. So for example, I didn't cross my F yet. T's not crossed. There's no loop on the H. The S is just kind of there. And I do that to kind of be able to see, um, I wanna do that part at the end because I wanna add my other words on before I add in these extra flourishes. So I have that, and then if I'm gonna write day, I'm gonna move my paper up a little bit, and then I'm gonna write day. And I think I'm gonna capitalize this D, so it's a little bigger. And again, I'm just gonna kinda leave that as is. And then the last one that I have is happy. So I'm also going to write, um, I think actually I'm going to write happy just in all caps and I'll do all the lettering here. So the other thing that you want to think about with composition is the north, south, east, west concept. So I'm going to write those out. If I add a flourish to one side, then I'm going to want to add it to the other. If I add something to the top, I'm going to want to add it to the bottom. So for example, on this H, if I wanted to do that, so I have this nice loop up here, it's like, okay, I need to add something down here on the bottom side to even it out. So. So say I do something like that. And I also added this, um, the end of the Y on this east side, so I need to add something here on this D to kind of even that side out. And then the same with the F, if I cross it, then I'd want to do something with the S over here to kind of balance too. So you have to think about, it's like, okay, if I'm beginning my word, I'm going to add this really fancy letter at the beginning. you got to balance it out with something on the end. And the same if you add something really nice at the top or the bottom, you have to balance it out on the other side. And so then the last thing that I would do on this one is I'm just going to write happy. And I'm moving my paper so that I can still use my guides, but maybe I'll just put it here. So maybe it's something like that. And so, and then you can always like do different iterations. So you do this one and you're like, okay, I don't love that. I'm gonna try another one, that's fine. But the key is just anytime from one side to the other that you add um, something, a flourish, you wanna add it to the other side. And then the other thing to mention, the great place to add flourishes or extra things are when you're crossing a T, capital letters, descenders like this um, Y or ascenders like the H and then also the endings of words. So those are great places to add some extra things where you see like our A, our E, our R, we're just keeping those regular, nothing fancy about them. Um, it's really the beginning ends and the ascenders and descenders when you want to add some flourishing. So those are just a few tips on composition. Let me know if you have any questions.